everyone, welcome to Grand Art Ballet channel. In this video, we are going to check how to warm up before class. To warm up, I think it's very individual. You need to feel what your body needs more. If you have sensitive part, then warm up this part more. I will show you how I do, how I like to do, and I hope it will help you or give you some tips. So what I like to do is to roll all my body and wake up my muscles and bones. So I use this one, put it under my back and start to roll up and down. And I feel that my body wakes up and cracks a bit. I don't like to hurry with the warm up, but sometimes of course, there is no time so I used to have some pain in the hips so I focus on that part and also the Achilles but it really depends on you so rolling up and down kind of massaging each part the muscles everywhere Especially if you had a day before some workout and you have some muscle temperature, it's really good and all your body wakes up from this. All right, and then I like to stay on the floor and start from down and I'm going up so I don't want to miss any part of my body. So I used to start with the feet, just simply some straight point and flex usually around eight or ten times I will do I think eight times and you can follow along so I will not just explain but show you and you can do it with me in the same tempo so for ballet of course we need strong feet technique so it's good to warm up then some circles because it's also for the ankle for the toes and for the hips let's say four times on the oar and four times on the down of course you can do more or you can do less but it's quite okay after that, I like to sit on it because the arch should have this line and some lucky people have it naturally, but for me it's always a bit difficult. And you just go front and back, front and back, and you should feel that the arch is getting this shape just be careful that your heel is not moving to out direction because you will not stretch it in the right way yeah because if you will stretch it this way then your tandu will look like this so it's not nice and of course other side sitting on it rolling i like to do separately the right and left legs but you can do also both legs at the same time that will be the next one so two feet together and the ankle the heel closing to each other so we are already thinking about the nice line so we did something with the feet and then Let's go on the hips. Yes, very simple. Two knees up, open and down. This is, I think, very easy, but very good because it's doing this rotation, what we need so much. Undoor and under done. 
you can lay or you can be in this elbow position and four and then one leg pulling to your chest and you should feel here yes and this will help a bit to get higher legs and here the hips will feel how is it when the leg is high up and this you just hold and pull and breathe and when you feel that it's getting closer to you you can also stretch it parallel pulling closer to you and also andor so we turn out because of course in ballet we do everything andor turned out pulling closer but you know this is just warm up so you don't need to over stretch it over pull it because this is just to warm up not to work so much on your flexibility and flexibility always work at the end of the class when your muscles are warm so pulling closer to you hugging your leg but keeping your hips on the floor breathing enjoying and then stretching it's also parallel and also and or pulling just gently before the class just gently and or pulling and also to the side so pulling my knee hips on the floor stomach also pulling closer to yourself using your breathing you can make little up and down and stretching yes, it depends on your body on your muscles you can take more time with your hips if you need other side and always both sides need to work on pulling 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 and when you do these warm-ups and these positions you can already think front ahead so this is preparing for your adagio yes yeah, so to your developpe or to your adagio combination when the leg needs to be high and you can control your position and try to feel correct so after you can control it all right so we did the legs and the hips and now going higher coming stomach what i like to do is this one so let's do around 20. one two ten twenty and also i like to do this one the legs in line and just put down right point and up left point up right and you need to keep your stomach really down so try to not have a hole under your back two more one and two 
can do with two legs, just to show you. Two. And you can do more. And the other very good for all your body is to do plank. I'm sure you know what is plank. So let's check it. Around one minute. Ready? And go. You need to be very straight. You need to hold your stomach. Keep a straight back. Knees. Head. And I'm not counting now, but I used to do around one and a half minutes. In better days, two and a half minutes. And it's really warming up my whole body. If I don't have enough time to warm up, just five minutes, let's say, this is one sure exercise what I would do to warm up. Using your breathing. And let's say 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay. Good. So we did the stomach and now we will go on the back. So for the back, I like to just push up my body, stretch my back a few times. Let's say three times. And after that, put my arms here and just go up and down. Come with me. Two more. Hold and go higher. And relax. After this, always stretch your back. Sit on the heels. All right, so we are going up, 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 hips, back, shoulders. I need to make some circles four times, pulling down and down. For the shoulder blades, I like to do this pulling down, but you really need to focus on your shoulder blades and keep it down. Pulling, stretching. Pulling, stretching, pulling, and the circles. It's not hard for a few seconds, but after, if you do a lot and you pull down your shoulders, it's difficult. The back way. And to the front way. Okay. Little bit the head side to side. Front and back. Circle. And of course, the splits. You can use something under your leg and open 
your splits. If it's too difficult, you don't need to put it under or you can bend your leg in the back. But for me, for now, it's okay. You can move forward and back. You can go side. And also this way. And other side. Front. Trying to keep square. So on the floor, for me usually that's it, and then I stand up. At the bar, some releves and some points with the feet. So I like to do with parallel releve one and down, as many as you need, three, four, and also with plie. Here I can really push my heels up, push the heels up, Heels, heels, and with the foot, demi, point, demi, close, with the plie, so you really feel your foot warming up, other side, with the plie, Last time, one, two, three, and plie, here, and down. Just some swings with the leg, front and back. Don't need to be pretty, it's just for your hips. Other side. And to the side. And other side. And that's it for me. Let's see some tips for cool down. So after your exercise, you need to calm down your body. So you need to control your breathing. So you just simply go breathe in and breathe out a few times that you feel your muscles are getting relaxed, your breathing are getting slower. And then I always try to do always some stretching for the Achilles because of course during exercise with many releves and many points and jumps so this part worked hard stretching Achilles usually stretchings need at least 20 seconds so the muscles will actually start to stretch both sides, right and left, stretching. Then the tights, knees together, stomach in, pulling the heel, the foot, counting, controlling breathing, and left side. Breathing, knees together, hips pushing front. Yes. Some rolling down from the top of the head, looking down. 
bending the knees, stretching and rolling up. And two more times down, step by step. coming up and last time and play stretch and up pulling the arms in front of you looking to the other direction other side In the back, pull, other side, pull, head front, head side, other side, okay, big second position, opening the hips. You can move right and left. Changing. All right. Now I sit down. Stretch this part of the leg. Just cross and pull. And I very much feel here. Pulling, holding, and down. Other side. Some frog. Some splits. And just some shaking. Thank you so much for joining this warm up and cool down video. If you have any question, just leave a comment below. I hope you enjoyed it and we see each other again. Bye.